myself dr k vishwanath alamraju department of mechanical engineering institute of aeronautical engineering bindigal hyderabad in this session we are going to study about the simple harmonic motion here what is a simple harmonic motion simple harmonic motion means whenever the force acting on object is proportional to the dis its displacement and in the opposite direction the object exhibits the simple harmonic motion so the examples for simple harmonic motion is there are various examples the common example for simple harmonic motion is a simple pendulum the simple pendulum means one end is fixed and here uh, the rope is tied with a bob and it is oscillating okay when it is oscillating is when it we have to give initial force to oscillate so for that force the force acting that force acting on the object is proportional to its displacement it may move in this direction and here it is in this direction okay and both oscillates when it is moving oscillation takes place now here the point is that it's the when that force object is that the, it is proportional to the displacement and also in opposite direction the object exhibits what it exhibits it's a simple harmonic motion so there are various examples of simple harmonic motion one is the simple pendulum and the, and the another one is uh, spring mass system so here mass attached to the spring what is the mass attached to the spring and another one is simple pendulum now here it is the simple pendulum when it is moving in here it is one is uh, one end is attached to that fix the rope and that one is bob it oscillating takes place another one is uh, the yeah, uh mass attached to a spring this is the mass attached to a spring the mass oscillation here takes place here it is it takes place what will happen the oscillatory motion takes place up and down the spring so here there are mainly attached the simple harmonic exhibits by there are three components one is the spring another one is mass uh one one more is that the damping damper here it is the spring the mass attached to a spring also exhibits a simple harmonic motion now there are certain terms you have to learn about a simple harmonic motion what are those terms that those terms are number one the amplitude it is the amplitude here in this figure indicates the amplitude amplitude is denoted by letter a and the unit for amplitude is in millimeter the mean here the definition of the amplitude is that the maximum displacement of the moving object from its equilibrium position what is the equilibrium position suppose if we consider a spring mass system the vertical spring mass system the spring and it is the mass here mass m the spring is the, uh, the stiffness is the unit for the stiffness is the parameter measured for the spring stiffness for the spring here mass is the spring uh, mass is uh, for mass uh, it is in kgs that is m when it is when you give the initial displacement when you give initial displacement x what will happen here the spring starts oscillating from downward direction from here and upward direction from here in between it is oscillates this position is known as the equilibrium position it is known as the equilibrium position or mean position so this is the maximum amplitude the maximum amplitude the maximum displacement of the moving object the moving object is the m from its equilibrium position this is the equilibrium position from this position it oscillates going upward and downward at the equilibrium position whatever x value x equal to 0 when it is coming in downward direction positive at this position x is greater than 0 and at this position here x is less than 0 okay at x equal to 0 the here and x is less than 0 and x is greater than 0 the maximum amplitude takes place between these two positions okay that's why here this is the maximum amplitude this distance is known as the maximum amplitude or the maximum displacement amplitude means the maximum displacement of the moving object from its equilibrium position it can be either upwards or downwards in the case of a vertical spring and in the case of horizontal spring it may be to the, towards left or towards right direction but one thing is that it is the maximum displacement 
and another with respect to from where equilibrium position these two terms are the keywords for the definition of amplitude next coming to the here uh, another word is the, the, the period of the what is the time period and one more term is the frequency what the time period means the time does it takes place uh, to complete the full cycle of motion here yeah, that is known as the period of time what is that uh, cycle of motion the here the object is moving here the mass is moving this one cycle coming downwards and going upwards and again coming back there is what here starting to here and going upwards and coming back so one cycle how much time it will take that time is known as the uh, period of time that is a period of time upset one cycle of the motion and one more thing that one cycle means one revolution in the case of rotary motion now here it is oscillation it is coming back and coming back coming down one cycle one cycle again it's keep on oscillating so how many oscillations per second or number of cycles per second that is known as a hedge it is nothing but a frequency the frequency means the number of cycles or vibrate or vibrations per unit of time that is known as frequency frequency is the unit for frequency is h unit for frequency is h or cycles per second cycles per second for r h okay h z so these are the terms are very very important to understand the concept of simple harmonic motion and not only that the concepts of vibrations also now here the vertical spring is considered here the vertical spring is the mass attached to the spring and here the mass it is the this the stiffness of the spring it is denoted by letter k and the mass is the inertia mass moment of inertia that is the inertia element is the energy storage element that is the k and here one more the damping element that is the c damping factor that is we we'll study here spin mass damper system now here x is the displacement from equilibrium position at equilibrium position what is the x value zero and it is x is greater than zero provided if it is in upward direction and x is less than zero it considered based on the direction so if the x is positive in direction x is the positive in downward direction then what will happen x is positive in downward direction so here it becomes the equilibrium position x becomes here um up to here what will happen here x is less than 0 or greater than 0 it depends upon the consideration of the direction okay now here one more thing as i mentioned here uh, in the case of simple harmonic motion if you want to study the frequencies experimentally if you want to learn experimentally what we will do one of the spring is attached at the hook and the spring and another end of the spring is connected with the mass suppose the mass is with 1 kg 1 kg and the spring stiffness will be given then what you will do you will give initial displacement x value and uh, leave it then what will happen it starts oscillating now what to do here the frequency you have to measure the number of cycles per time for seconds now what is the time from starting to ending point the total time and the number of oscillations will count so the number of oscillations are for 2 minute how many oscillations you will count suppose for uh, time equal to for 2 minutes how many oscillations number of oscillations you will count are cycles then for 1 second for 2 minutes means how many seconds 120 seconds the oscillations are so many n n oscillations can for 1 second how many oscillations okay that is n by 120 this n by 120 for 1 second how many oscillations that is known as the frequency okay that is the frequency value thus we will calculate the frequency of the spring mass system in order to study the simple harmonic motion now in this case in order to study here uh, the period of an object of a vertical spin exhibits the simple harmonic motion the simple harmonic motion let us hear that the period of time the time t equal to 2 pi square root of and under square root of m by k 2 pi times under square root of m by k where m is the mass k is the uh, stiffness one more thing very important to understand here here the spring is considered and there is the without mass 
after mass there will be def- the spring will be elongated that elongation or that deflection is known as static deflection the, there are three figures figure 1 figure 2 and figure 3 the figure 1 is equilibrium position with no mass figure 2 is the attached mass then what that is also equilibrium position with mass m attached then spring stretches an amount of that is a static deflection that is static deflection delta equal to w by k where w equal to mg and k is the stiffness here it is denoted with y not y not equal to mg by k that is nothing but w by k here what is the unit for deflection the unit for deflection is in millimeters so newton a unit for stiffness that is newton per meter then what will happen for millimeter or meters if the stiffness is in millimeters newton per millimeter the unit for stiffness or spring constant is newton per meter or newton per millimeter what is unit for mass mass of the object mass is the kg is kilograms time period it is second okay this is static deflection after that what we will do object oscillates around the equilibrium position with a displacement of y dash now here the y dash is the initial displacement was given then we we'll leave it then what if after leaving it starts oscillating so the time period t equal to capital t equal to 2 pi times and the square root of m by k this is a calculation or expression for the calculation of period of time now here consider before case in before slide we considered as a vertical spring now here it is horizontal spring now in this case of horizontal spring what will happen here if at the case of horizontal spring you have given a uh, force in the direction along you know x axis positive x direction when we are applying like that there will be stiffness or energy storage elastic force which acts in opposite direction that is the fs fs is in equal to zero at the equilibrium position okay and at the equilibrium position where x equal to zero it is at the equilibrium position now here it is in positive direction if you elongate it then what will happen this elastic force in opposite direction towards the equilibrium now similarly if it goes back then elastic force acts again towards equilibrium in both the direction elastic force always acts in opposite direction of the stretched force now here if we stretch a spring with a mass on the end and let it go the mass will oscillate back and forth if there is no friction those oscillations are considered as a simple harmonic motion so the oscillations with respect to equilibrium position is known as the vibrations now if this oscillation these oscillations are called as or simple harmonic motion because what is it because here f is a a restoring force now the here f what is that f equal to that f restoring force equal to f equal to minus k times x why it is a negative direction because it is always of op- this uh, restoring force always acts in opposite to the direction of a stretching okay that's why the negative direction that f equal to minus k x now what is the unit for f here newtons how where is the stiffness unit for spring constant where k is the spring constant f is always yes according to the definition of the simple harmonic motion this uh, applied force or external force is always proportional to the displacement and acts in opposite direction that force acts in opposite direction that's what negative sign indicates this k is known as spring constant so it is f is proportional to x and f equal to minus k times x this k is the spring constant the unit for spring constant is newton per meter or newton per millimeter where x is the displacement given to the uh, spring mass system okay now i think you might have understood what is the definition of simple harmonic motion okay next year uh, for horizontal spring when it is the spring and mass is attached here 
Okay, a simple harmonic motion is any object that oscillates and is subject to a restoring force. And here, horizontal mass, uh, horizontal mass is on the end of the spring. At the end of the spring, is horizontal mass is there. And what is the F is the linear restoring force? And according to Hooke's law, that is F is proportional to F is equal to minus k x. That's why Hooke's law applies here. The stress, the force is directly proportional to the displacement, and it acts in opposite direction. That F equal to minus k times x. Now coming to here, how uh, what are the parameters this uh, simple harmonic motion or stretching force or time period depends on this. So if you understand according to expression, here there are two springs are there. Uh, there are two springs attached. One the spring one is mass one is attached and for spring two mass two is attached. The spring one is mass is at a distance of 5 centimeters from equilibrium position. And mass 2 is at a distance of 10 centimeters from equilibrium position. Now here, the spring, if you understand, this 5 centimeters and 10 centimeters are the amplitudes. Uh, according to by observation of the expression of the time period, that is a time t equal to 2 pi times m by k. This time period is dependent on mass and spring constant but not it is dependent on the displacement so that's why the period of time is independent of the amplitudes okay and if we give it the 5 centimeter and 10 centimeters the total period is depends on if if both the springs are having same mass if the mass one equal to mass two okay and stiffnesses are same then the even though displacements may be 5 centimeters and 10 centimeters the time period value will be remain same so that's why here the frequency and the period of uh, and the period of simple harmonic oscillator harmonic oscillator means the oscillations will be given by a system the system is considered here it is spring mass system the spring mass system gives simple harmonic motion. That's why the spring mass system is also is known as spring mass oscillator or simple harmonic oscillator. Okay. Okay. That's why here it is independent of amplitude and it is dependent of dependent on mass and spring constant. This mass is at uh, the mass property. There's a K where the K is the property of the spring. Elastic, uh, that is the property of the spring material and where the mass is attached to mass. That's why mass, M and stiffness K, both it is the, uh, the time period dependent on K and M. The period is dependent on, is dependent, is dependent on K and M. And another one, it is independent independent on very important here amplitude independent on amplitude so the time period at t equal to 2 pi times under square root of m by k unit for m is kilograms and k is newton per meter and the t period comes in in the units of seconds okay now how to get it this uh, amplitude versus a time displacement curve the sine and cosine why do we use the simple harmonic motion in terms of sine theta the amplitude uh, x small x equal displacement x equal to amplitude times cos omega t or sine omega t or a sine omega t or, or in terms of a cos omega t we always mention uh, the displacement in terms of sine and cosines. Why? Because here the oscillations of the curve, that displacement with respect to time, if you observe that curve is in terms of either sinusoidal curve or sine and sinusoidal or sine and cosine curves. That's why here it is, that's why we represent mathematically the amplitude, the displacement equal to amplitude times sine omega t or displacement equal to amplitude times cos omega t now here 
sine and cosine curves representation uh, of your restoring force that is the here and in terms of, of your simple harmonic motion the eccentricity we are going to how to how we will get it this curve okay please understand here according to time the, this is the mass is attached here the mass gives oscillations initial displacement those oscillations if we count and function of the time the moves it moves at that time these oscillations moves up and down this is the up portion and here it is the down and this position is known as the equilibrium position equilibrium position okay it starts amplitude what about here the a is the amplitude and go back here uh, in the, the diagram where we mentioned in this diagram this is the displacement x under time t and what is the period here this is the amplitude the maximum either upwards or mid okay this is also amplitude the maximum value you have to consider so what is the period here this is one cycle what is the total time is taking one cycle or if you consider this is also another cycle this cycles the time takes to complete one cycle of oscillation is known as the period and the number of oscillations the number of oscillations per second is known as frequency okay and next this is the curve we got it so this is the amplitude what the for one cycle this is what is this is known as period okay and this is the maximum this is that is known as a ya that is the amplitude so this is again time period equal to for this 2 pi times under root of m by k here we are considering mass attached to a spring okay and we are going to calculate a period for simple pendulum the simple pendulum also gives a simple harmonic motion okay when it oscillates similarly now we consider the spring mass system is under simple harmonic motion then what is the period that is the spring and mass the spring is the storage property here the spring is having elastic property the k is the stiffness of the spring that is here the period is in terms of the mass and the spring okay now another view of uh, how it represents the motion of the paper the, with respect to time you can see the sine cosine curves representation of a simple harmonic motion here it is under oscillations when it is moving you will get it this type of curve again here it is this is the period and with respect to the, this is equilibrium position this is the period and whatever the maximum amplitude this is the maximum this is the maximum amplitude yeah amplitude all right the mass is attached the spring stiffness then again the period t equal to period t equal to 2 pi times under root of m by k now we are going to see this these are the curves here this is the curves of displacement x versus t and this is the graph v versus time and this is the graph for acceleration versus time these are the three graphs presented here when uh, this is the first graph shows the di well, displacement versus a time graph and on time here one more thing the displacement is the maximum is the 10 centimeters that is the minus plus 10 positive 10 to negative 10 now plus 10 to minus 10 it is moving here this is known as the amplitude a and the time takes to oscillates here this is the period of time okay and 0 to pi by 2 pi by 4 pi by 2 3 pi by 4 like that pi up to 180 degrees radians it will be considered now velocity versus time graph for the same displacement in terms of velocity then what will happen here the velocity is that is my plus 40 to minus 40 then these are the sinusoidal representation now again for acceleration so these curves we can see the correlating how the sine, sine and cosine 
sine curve for displacement time, sine curve for velocity and versus time, and the sine curve for acceleration versus time. How these oscillations are, are represented here, we can observe. Now, so far we considered the case one, that is a mass attached to the spring. Now, coming to the part two, that is mass attached to a wire, that is known as the wire, one of the thread, that is known as simple pendulum. The simple pendulum here, it is oscillating, okay, from plus 20 to minus 20. It is one attached at one point. Now, if you see in this figure, mathematically, if you want to express it, then what will happen here, the angle of inclination of the bob is uh, fine. Now it is the bob is having certain mass, that is the M. It is oscillating in this direction. Now you resolve this Mg, okay, vertically downwards weight. The angle is made with Mg with the vertical component. The angle of inclination of the rope is same as the angle of inclination with the weight vertically downward, that is the fine. Now resolve on horizontal and vertically, it becomes mg cos theta in this direction and it becomes mg sin phi. This is mg cos phi and mg sin phi. Okay, one thing is that when uh, Bobby is at this position, the Bob is having a potential energy is maximum, Pg maximum and kinetic energy is zero or minimum extreme. And when it reaches the equilibrium position, now this is the equilibrium position. At this point, the kinetic energy becomes becomes maximum and potential energy becomes zero. Again, extreme. At this position, it comes. Here it is becomes PE maximum. PE becomes a maximum. KE becomes a zero. So it converts the potential energy to kinetic and kinetic energy to potential energy. That's why here according it, it, it is nothing but a law of conservation of energy. So one type of energy is converted into another. Thus it starts oscillating. With the function of the time, due to air resistance, what will happen? It comes to rest at equilibrium position. At equilibrium position, both after coming without oscillation, no oscillations, that means potential energy is zero and kinetic energy is zero. This is potential energy and kinetic energy under oscillations. Potential energy is maximum at the extreme conditions. Kinetic energy is maximum at the equilibrium here at this position. It starts oscillating. That's why the simple pendulum is under the motion of simple harmonic. Now, the for this simple harmonic motion for uh, period for a, the expression for period of a simple pendulum, okay, uh, that is two pi times under square root of l by z. Whereas for spring mass system. 2 pi times under root of square root of 2 pi times k by m. This is for spring mass system, spring mass system time period or period of time. Now here 2 pi times under square root of l by z. What is the l here? Length. Okay. L is the length of the string and where is the whatever z? G is the gravity. Now you can also understand one more thing, this formula is for the small period of or the small displacement was given. Point is that it is independent on the amplitude. Okay, now 2 pi times the time period, the period of time of the simple pendulum is dependent on length, length of the string. Okay, the length of the string, it is proportional, it is dependent on length of the string. Now. There are two objectives. This figure shows uh, object one and object two. If we consider time in say, this is the displacement versus the time. So object one having the sine sine curve and object two having a sine curve. But provided here the two displacement, the displacement for object two one is five centimeters, whereas the displacement for object two is a ten centimeters. So under these considerations, how the displacement versus time shows. Now here, another thing is that if the time period, the t by 4 time, time for quarter cycle, how the x displacement versus time graph shows. This is another velocity versus time, that is t by 2, time for half cycle. And finally, 3 to 3 times t by 2, the time for 3 quarter of the circles, acceleration, acceleration versus time graph. Here, 3t by 2 and it is t by 2 and it is t by 4. 
But t by 4, it is coming to again t by 2, 3 t by 2 coming. Yeah, these are the uh, period of simple harmonic oscillator represented in the form of the cosine curves. Okay. Now coming to so far we studied for linear motions, either it is uh, oscillating, angular, or uh, one more thing is that for spring mass system, it is a linear vertical movement upward from equilibrium position. Now coming to here uh, for a circular motion, how the circular motion here represents this particle is there at this position, the particle is made, the amplitude of the particle is capital A and theta it is making. The shadow is projected here, the cos theta, that is the axis, the displacement, the projection. When this particle is moving in direction, circular motion, the shadow of this particle on axis OX and negative on OX axis, it is coming to and fro motion. That the motion of that shadow of the part, the projection of that particle is under simple harmonic motion. For the simple harmonic motion, the period of time t equal to 2 pi times and the square root of L by G. Okay? Where G is the acceleration due to gravity and L is the length of the spring. Now you can see it how the potential energy is maximum and potential energy is minimum and kinetic energy is maximum, kinetic energy is minimum. Let us see here, there is equilibrium position. Here you see K is maximum, K U, it is showing U maximum. Okay, U max at the extreme conditions. So this is what for a simple harmonic motion. So energy in simple harmonic motion in terms of potential and kinetic energy. The total energy equal to both potential plus kinetic energy. So O is the uh, equilibrium position. At equilibrium position, you can see at extreme, K is maximum here, K max, even though here, okay. Here K and U both are presenting extreme and also okay, K and U both are presenting. Now at equilibrium position is the O and A is the positive amplitude and the minus negative A is the negative amplitude direction. So the point is that at the A potential energy presents, okay, kinetic energy both. This word energy in simple harmonic motion. Now you can understand there are three things here. No air friction consider Ke for potential kinetic energy. There are okay, we can see how the total energy acts. Now, in this case, when, when the motion is under circular motion, and here this represents for both the three things: spring mass system, circular motion, and the potential energy presents. How the energy presents the total energy here at equilibrium position. And he is total here, it is of kx square, and here it is of kx square, that is x equal to a amplitude at this position. Now, at this negative and positive and negative considerations, this u is the total, total energy. Okay, this graph indicates you can understand the spring mass system is oscillating with respect to equilibrium position from positive a to negative a. And if you correlate with respect to circular motion, how it is moving, you see, it is oscillating. This the shadow is about O X axis. It is under simple harmonic motion. Now here we are going to study the mass spring mass system. Uh, suppose here how it will help the spring mass system help when car hitting a pothole in the road. Then you can see it the vibrations. The vibrations you can experience the vibrations because of this spring mass system. The vehicle will be under not only that, not only hitting the pothole and also if the road is in up and down motions, then it is moving, you can feel the oscillations up and down here uh, in mass spring, spring mass system. Now in this diagram, you can see it, uh, there are two types of, uh, two, ty two springs are moving with the different amplitudes. Okay, at that time, what will happen position versus uh, time, that, uh, that means displacement versus time graph. So these are the sine curves. You can see it under oscillations, under simple harmonic motions. Okay. Now one more thing is that uh, we have studied here what is simple harmonic motion, and by considering two systems, 
the system one is spring mass attached to the spring mass attached to the spring and another one is a simple pendulum okay and under that we studied what is the time period for this period of time that is 2 pi times under root of m by k and here t equal to 2 pi times under root of l by g okay those expression how it works out how the period the curves the displacement versus time curves is in in the is in sine and cosine curves why sine and cosine curves it acts these are the things we studied in this session okay these are the references were followed uh, in this session we followed the google.com uh, and also search engine and also the concepts were uh, explained from the textbooks like Irving Chance, Hibbler and Biren Johnson Indian Mechanics by R. S. Kurmi. Okay, these are the references. With this, we can wind up the session for today. Thank you. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.